What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2021 Donners Optic Basketball 3 Box Break. Two random teams each. Number two just sold out, guys. Remember, no veteran common ship. 15 total spots. Everybody gets two random teams in the NBA. So here you go. Here's the dice roller. We doubled up your names from the top to the bottom there. Boom. Hawks down to the Wizards. So let's roll. We got ourselves a five and a two. Seven times. We're rolling a lot of sevens today. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Corey down to Sean Maddox. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Knicks down to the Wizards. So Corey with the Knicks, Todd with the Cavs, Sean O'Leary with the Pelicans, uh, Kyle Sook with the um, Rockets, Sean Maddock with the uh, Magic, PJ with the Spurs, Corey with the Nets, Nicholas with the uh, Heat, Sean Maddock with the uh, Celtics. Jeremy with the Warriors, Eric with the Bulls, Joshua Wilson with the Jazz, Sean Maddox, Las Palmas, Lakers, Robert with the Hawks, Sean O'Leary with the Mavericks, Joshua with the 76ers, Todd with the Pacers, James with the T-Wolves, PJ with the Pistons, Sean with the Kings, Nicholas with the Clippers, Robert Runko with the Grizzlies, James with the Suns, Kyle Sue with the Thunder, uh, SKS, Steven with the Raptors, Eric with the Blazers, Steven with the Charlotte Hornets, Sean O'Leary with the Nuggets, Jeremy Waller with the Bucks and Sean Maddock with the Washington Wizards. All right, I'll give you guys a quick minute for any trades if you guys would like. If not, like I said, we'll just close the trade window. I'm assuming no trades, guys. All right, guys. So again, the little line indicates from the same case. Just grab the random boxes. So I'll post up number three if you guys want to run another one back. Like I said, we could do at least four of these. And I have to get it done with this three boxes. That's half the case. There's still plenty of stuff, plenty of hits still hiding on the other half.
James Wiseman. Bojan Bogdanovic. Utah Jazz going to Joshua to 59. Another Bojan, just Optic Hollow. Saving Lee. Hollow, Raider rookie. Detroit Pistons. PJ, there you go, PJ. Kristaps Porzingis. Four ninety nine. Stargazing Steph Curry. Jonas Valanciunas. Kevin Durant Hollow. All stars. Anthony Edwards. Cam Reddish, little lime green. And Robert Woodard. Alrighty, next box, guys. Mistakes. O line's healthy as hell. Weapons on the running backs, the wide receivers. It's great. Rager and Devonta scored. I'm more uh, intrigued to see uh, my Lotto versus like Nick Bosa this weekend. He's like been the best story so far. Converted rugby player, never playing in the NFL. Never playing football, I should say, in general. Gets drafted late seventh round by us. Gives him a shot. Last couple years, just kind of getting his technique down. And he got his opportunity last year with all the injuries. It's like we didn't even need Dillard anymore. Unless he were to be injured, of course. But he took Dillard's spot, and that's what we drafted in the first round last year. Now he just got paid $60 million. Karan Butler signature series. Yeah, he had a I forget who was like Fowler Jr. But yeah, it should be fun. Zeke for the Nuggets. I think it'll both be like a high scoring game though. I think they're both gonna score a lot. Nice Tyrese Halliburton. Sean O'Leary with the Kings. Very nice. Hold up. 
Optic Hollow. Coral. John Moran, Elite Dominators. Josh Jackson to 79. I know, but just let's just say hypothetically he does so well and shuts down both. So that then, you know, is my lot of not high, like he's not is, like you know is he is he worth it now? If you could shut down someone like Bosa or someone like Watt, Chase Young and stuff like that, you know, it's like it's a big test and it's like a lot of people are gonna judge him off of what happens this weekend, right? But it's like what if he does well? <laughs> Reigning three is Duncan Robinson. Anthony Davis, lime green. To 149. Kenyon Martin Jr. Cole Anthony, Jokic. Tim Hardaway Jr. to 199. That's true, that makes sense. I mean, if he were to get totally destroyed, I wouldn't blame the guy, you know? It's like the first time he's a starter. Like I said, still only a few years out of ever playing football at all. But yeah, I think uh, I expect him to do well. Though. I I mean I I'm sure Bosa will will be ready for him and he'll probably go around him and maybe get a sack. I don't know. Who knows, right? But I think uh, Malata will be just fine though. See, the thing is that like besides Malata, now you have Brandon Brooks back. You have Lane Johnson back. Kelsey's there still. You know, say Amalu's healthy this year. It's like every single one of our starting linemen last year was injured. And, you know, not to put any blame on, like, not to put not, not any blame on Carson Wentz. He made some bad decisions, but, I mean, I think when you have a decent line or your good old line all healthy, it makes a huge difference. You know. And the one thing about Hurts that I love is that he's an option for running, so... The linebackers, you know, the inside uh, quarterbacks, DBs, are have to have to think. All right, who's gonna who's gonna get the ball? Is it Miles Sanders? Is it Kenneth Gainwell? Or is Hurts gonna keep it? You know. So that opens up the run even more. had a lot of injuries. It's funny, I didn't even realize uh, big Jason Peters actually was with the Bears. I think they called him up last year, they said, or last week. I think they said he was fishing. Played uh, on Sunday Night Football and then already was injured. <laughs> it's like, dude. But hey, he still wants to play football. Good for him, man. He's like 39 years old. He'll be a Hall of Famer, too. These last couple of years, Jason Peters has been so injured, but before that, dude was the most dominant left tackle. And he'll be in the Hall of Fame. Tyrell Terry. And Devin Vassell signature uh, series. Yeah, Hurts did play with a chip on his shoulder, that's for sure. I think so many people just really thought it wasn't going to work out. He's no good. And... Proving you wrong, right? It's just like an Alabama to to Oklahoma. Bama to Bada, 79. Pink velocity. Denny Odeja. 
the rookies hollow, Sean Maddock. And nice Xavier Tillman, 29 out of 59. It's a nice blue right there. Yeah, dude, he was undrafted, and I think the Eagles traded for him for a third round pick. Isn't that wild? Dominator Jimmy Butler, RJ Hampton, Norman Powell to 149, Kyle Lowry, and we got a gold. There's Anthony Edwards, Elite Dominators, Campbell Walker, 7 out of 10 for the Celtics going to Sean Maddock, Last Ball Mojo. Payne Pritchard, Luke Kennard for the Clippers to 199. And RJ Hampton, way to rookie off the column. Yeah, I want to say it was a third rounder, but even if he was a high draft rounder, the fact is that the Bills, he came undrafted, the Bills had him for X amount of years, and then I thought it was third round pick. It might, it might be higher, but even then, you know, it's like, the Bills are the ones that scored too, getting a first rounder or a third round pick, whatever, for us. But yeah, if it ended up being actually a third rounder, then it's, yeah, that's a, what you just said, <laughs> petty stuff. All right, guys, and there you go. That was the break. So, Gold Elite Dominators, Xavier Tim and Blue, Danny Odeja, Devin Vassell, Anthony Davis, Lime Green, Halliburton, Hollow, and Saban Lee autograph there for Detroit, which is for PJ. Appreciate it, guys. Remember, this was uh, Random Teams number two. We still have half a case remaining. I think no Photons pulled yet. Nothing super, super crazy, crazy in the first six boxes. So, three and four could be super loaded, and I'll put that back on the website, guys. And like I said, if you guys want to fill up pick your teams number three and four, uh, the next filler is still uh, down to nine left. Remember, 11 out of the 15 names will get a team. And pretty much the top nine out of 11 will get a team at the spot price, pretty much at the spot price or more, including the top four are all pretty much double. They're like 130, 140. The Grizzlies were over 100. And like I said, the Nets, Suns, Nets, Suns uh, were around 70 bucks. So a little less than the spot price, but pretty much there. So let's get that rolling too as well, guys. Next random team's already up. Thank you, Nick. So appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.